Hello, Nogheads. Nate here. Today we'll be trying another new eggnog together. Today's eggnog will be made from goat's milk. I hope you're excited, because I sure am. Okay, to make our goat's milk eggnog, we'll be utilizing real goat milk. This goat milk has been ultra pasteurized and is from Meyerberg. It is grade A. The ingredients of this are whole goat milk and vitamin D3. The nutritional facts include 140 calories, 7 grams of fat, 11 grams of sugar, and 8 grams of protein per serving. Each serving is one cup. With our goat milk, we'll also be combining our eggnog mix. This eggnog mix is from Aspen Mulling. It's their original recipe. The ingredients include sugar, cellulose gum, dextrin, natural and artificial flavors, silicon dioxide to prevent caking, coloring, and it's also processed in a facility that handles other ingredients such as wheat, milk, egg, and soy. Notably, there are no eggs in this eggnog. The nutritional facts state that in each serving, three teaspoons, there are 80 calories, zero grams of protein, and zero grams of fat. Combined, our serving of eggnog is going to be 220 calories. We'll be making our eggnog traditionally following the recipes shown here. It requires we add three teaspoons of eggnog mix to one cup of milk. Stir well, let stand for two minutes. Enjoy by the glass. We will. Okay, I have our eggnog portioned out and our goat's milk ready. If you look at the eggnog, it's a very flaky powder. Very sandy, I should say. A lot like pure sugar. This can be added. We've been advised to shake well. Who are we to disobey? I'm familiar with this glass. I know that six to eight ounces is almost full, but with still about half an inch of space. Now we will mix. Now we will wait for two minutes. Welcome back, Nogheads. Though no time has elapsed for you, two minutes has elapsed here. That means our eggnog is ready. Have you ever had goat's milk before? If so, you would know that goat's milk has a distinct goaty taste and aroma. Put another way, it's a little bit musty. I wonder if this goat's milk eggnog will also be musty. Let's see what the aroma is like. As could be expected, it does have a strong, sweet aroma 
coming from the eggnog mix. But there is a little bit of goat aroma that has a subtle undertone. This may be an indication of what we can expect with the flavor. Have you ever had goat's milk eggnog before? If so, you may know what I'm about to experience. But please don't tell me. I'm ready for a surprise. This is my first time trying goat's milk eggnog, and I'm excited. Well, I guess this is the big moment. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. I was expecting the goat's milk eggnog to be mostly sweet and sugary like the eggnog mix is. In fact, it's very well balanced. The goat's milk goatiness really does come through in the goat's milk eggnog. It is a great surprise because the two seem to balance each other out a little bit. Goat's milk by itself can be a little bit goaty. Eggnog mix by itself, I'm sure, is much too sweet. The two complement each other in a nice, balanced way. Hmm. Well, I guess it's about time we split ways. Before we go, I want to give you my feedback. Okay, well I've now finished my glass of eggnog, and I'm ready to give this eggnog its rating. This goat's milk eggnog is worthy of a 1, 2, 3, 4 thumbs up. I'd encourage you to seek out goat's milk and some Aspen Mulling Eggnog Mix original recipe and try combining them. Maybe you could mix them as directed and see what they taste like. Maybe you could taste the same thing I've tasted. Or maybe you could take the eggnog mix and the goat's milk and combine them in some different ratios. For you, it might taste slightly different. Well, if you try it, please let me know. I would love to hear feedback. Until then, I hope you have a good night.